Hi, I'm Casey Sussman coming at you here from the Performance Locker. Often when we hear information that we don't want to hear or really listen to, we assume, oh, he's not talking to me. You hear us talk a lot about sedentary lifestyle and about working at a desk all day, right? The nine to five warrior stuck behind the desk in that constant slouch position. And it's easier for us to go, well, that's not me. I'm not the nine to fiver. I don't sit behind a desk all day or I'm not sedentary. I'm very active. I am talking to you. I'm talking to all of us, right? If we really look at our culture, our society, 99% of the people fall into these categories. Well, why? Let's say you are an active exerciser who also happens to work a 90, nine to five desk job or a nine to five job that you spend a certain amount of time or a majority of your time seated, inactive or immobile, basically not standing, not walking. And that is most of us. Most of us do not stand and walk throughout the majority of our work day. So if you are that person, it doesn't matter how hard you hit it at the gym for that one hour that you're there, you're still spending the majority of your day in this position or in just a fixed position with very, very little to no movement or stuck in certain positions all day long. So that by definition is sedentary. It doesn't matter that you work out every day. It doesn't matter how hard you work out every day. The majority of your day is spent in one position with lack of movement. So even if you work that job, even if you're hitting it hard, we still have to look into some of those rules and some of those fixes and helps that can help with that sedentary more lifestyle. What if you're that person that's like, well, I don't work at a computer. I don't sit all day. I'm not hunched here. I'm really active. I, I do my workouts and everything else. If I'm deadlifting or squatting on a regular basis or doing any pattern in this position, it doesn't matter if it's a desk that takes me into this position or if it's poor lifting posture that takes me into this position. The position is the same. It doesn't know whether it's a deadlift that's causing it or a desk that's causing it. So you might not sit at a desk. You might not be at a computer all day, but maybe in your workouts or a lot of your other activities, we're spending a lot of time in this position, which is very common. Even if you don't work at a desk, I'm gonna to venture to guess you have a smartphone or you have some sort of tablet, so you're probably spending a lot of time here. Does this look familiar? So at the end of the day, I am talking to you. We can all use this information, and the sooner we get to the point that we either accept not as active as I'd like to think I am because I spend most of my time sitting or inactive or okay I don't work at a desk but I still probably am dealing with some of these postural issues or woes the sooner that we can get ourselves on the road to recovery so we'll